The film surrounds a high school girl called Min Sun. Because of her impression, she is frequently bullied in school by popular kids. Her only companion is Min Ji, but before knowing her in high school, Min Sun had no one to talk to for the 16 years of her life. Hence, she created an imaginary friend called Inner who manifests in front of her when she is alone and needs a friend to talk to. One sunrise, Min Sun is getting ready for school while Inner keeps her company. She is overly excited about nothing because her guts tell her something wonderful is about to transpire today. Inner praises her optimism but asks her to hurry, as a good imaginary friend would. On her way to the school, Min Sun is moved toward by Min Ji. They talk about a new comic that Min Sun managed to land the last copy of. Surprisingly sufficient, Min Sun's favorite character is not the hero but the antagonist. She discovers the character attractive because he is passionate about what he does. This resonates with her real life as Min Sun has a crush on a guy similar to the villain in the comic. His name is Hody, the prominent kid who everyone is afraid of. Coincidentally, just as she is thinking of him, he approaches her and hands her a keyring that fell off her bag. This is the first time a guy is being nice to Min Sun, and she is particularly happy that he is her crush. Hody asks her to be careful and walks away. When alone, Min Sun meets Inner again. He can see how much she likes Hody but doesn't comment anything about the guy. Min Sun, on the other hand, is over the moon, positive that numerous nice things are coming her way. Later that day, she and Min Ji meet at a cafe. Min Ji seems to be bothered by something but Min Sun doesn't notice it. They proceed reading comics when a group of three bullies approaches them. Min Sun knows they bring trouble so she tries her best to mind her own business but they take the comic away and refuse to return it. The meanest girl from the group is Momo. She says she wants to borrow the comic and keep it for the following 10 years. When Min Sun speaks up for herself, they threaten to kill her on the way home. Things start to get out of hand but just then, comes Hody on Min Sun's aid. His dad is a businessman whose influence makes even the bullies fear him. Hody beats up the guy in their group and sends them away. He also gives Min Sun his number so she can call him if they trouble her again. Subsequently school, Min Sun is going through Hody's social media, fawning over his pictures. After conclusion out what happened today, even Inner believes Hody has feelings for his friend. As they chat about him, his name flashes on Min Sun's phone, and rushes to meet him outside. When inquired why he called, Hody confesses that he likes her and wants to take her out on a date. Min Sun doesn't believe him at first, and used to male attention. But as Hody leans in for a kiss, her dream becomes a reality. Min Sun closes her sights waiting but the kiss never comes. Rather, Hody takes a picture of her most vulnerable self and makes fun of her. It is then disclosed that he never liked her and was only being nice for a prank. The bullies join him, laughing at Min Sun for thinking that she had a chance with someone like Hody. He is not just a bad person but also a sociopath. He rules over the school and uses his dad's influence to terrorize people for fun. He wants Min Sun to take on the responsibility of his slave. She must come to him whenever he demands and he can do whatever he pleases with her. Min Sun is still in shock but she knows her life is going to turn into hell from now on. Moreover, it is disclosed that Min Ji was also in on the bully's plan because she was threatened. The scene cuts to a month later. Min Sun turned her phone off and hasn't been out of the house after the bullying incident. She sleeps all day, drowning in depression. Her only companion is her imaginary friend and he, too, is exhausted of seeing her like that. One day, he introduces her to the concept of revenge. The poor girl never thought going against the bullies was feasible but inner motivates her enough to do something about her life. In the attending montage, Min Sun changes her lifestyle completely. She manages her diet and exercises to lose weight. Not just that but she wraps herself with tape and suffocates for hours, driven by the will to take vengeance. Apart from her weight, she focuses on changing her attitude and gaining more confidence through several courses. Exactly a year later, Min Sun is a changed person. 
She is thinner and the most confident she has ever been. But she cannot help but be nervous since it is the time to eventually face her fears. The first person she goes for is Yong Jae, the least important member of the bully group. She starts by hitting him and pretending to have mistaken him for someone else. Yong Jae immediately falls for her charisma now that Min Sun is conventionally attractive. They flirt for a while before exchanging numbers. Yong Jae is over the moon while Min Sun is ready for the next part of the plan. Later that day, Hody notices Yong Jae looking at his phone repeatedly. He doesn't allow any of his close mates to do things without notifying him first. They aren't even authorized to be in a relationship without his permission but they put up with his demands to stay on his good side. Upon realizing that something is off about Yong Jae, Hody jokingly threatens to kill his girlfriend if he has one in secret. Min Ji still works as a slave for the group and buys things for them. This moment, she forgets to bring cigarettes, angering Momo. The last member of the group is Mina, the kindest one of the lot who wants to forgive Min Ji. Hody registers that she always interrupts when they are bullying people and warns her to be careful. When he is not around, Yong Jae calls Min Sun and they meet again. Min Sun is shocked at how oppositely he talks to her than he used to. The change in behavior angers her as she remembers how unhappy she was because of him only a year ago. Yong Jae tells her that he likes her but she rejects him, saying that she is in need of one million won and cannot be distracted. The following day, Yong Jae sells his phone and gaming console to get the money for her. Min Sun is taken aback, but the gesture angers her even more. She says that she will return the cash after 10 years, mimicking their words to her. Yong Jae still doesn't get the hint and is shocked when she throws the money at him and walks away. He rapidly stops her, asking her the reason she is rejecting him. Min Sun truthfully claims that she despises all bullies and he is one of the known ones in the school. In reply, Hody says he will leave the group and change if it means she will accept him. The attending scene, Min Ji is again troubled by the group. Yong Jae approaches them, asking her to go away. An angered Hody inquires what he is doing and is surprised to discover out he wants to leave the group. Just when things get heated, Min Sun comes to Yong Jae and makes up an excuse to save him. Hody is immediately alarmed by her presence but thinks she is stunning. To spite Yong Jae, he is extra friendly to Min Sun and even asks her for her number. Momo is not happy about the interchange because she is in love with Hody and they have been in a relationship for a month now. When Hody asks Min Sun for her number, Yong Jae comes in between and drags her away. He doesn't like that she interfered in his matter but Min Sun hugs him and makes him forget about it. She claims to be 10% in love with him as a joke so he would work harder to make her fall totally in love. At darkness, Inner asks Min Sun if she is doing okay. The change in her attitude has also turned her somewhat heartless which worries him. Nonetheless, Min Sun doesn't see any problem with what she is doing and is happy to use Yong Jae for her benefit. Inner sees how different she is from a year ago and the story goes into a flashback. After attempting several ways to lose weight, including the tape method, Min Sun had still not made progress. Then one day, Hody came to visit her, worried that she hadn't come to school in more than two months. He organized out about her little revenge plan and made fun of it. He made her believe that being thinner or more confident will never difference who she is from the inside, she will always be their punching bag, a loser that no one likes. The visit made Min Sun go into another spiral of depression and she ended up committing the unthinkable. During her funeral, a miracle transpired and her sister Sae saw Inner for the first time. She used to live afar and never knew what Min Sun was going through. Upon finding out about the bullies, she made it her mission to take vengeance for her sister's death. Hence, the confident person who returned to school was not Min Sun but her sister Sae. A few days later, Sae meets Hody. She says that Yong Jae is just a friend and tries to seduce him. She wants them to battle and end each other without her having to do anything to break them. They exchange phone numbers and decide to go out someday. Sae then goes on a date with Yong Jae, waiting for Hody to call her phone in front of him. 
She brings him to his house and he attempts to kiss her while watching the TV. The phone rings at the right time and Young Jae sees Hody calling her. She picks it up and agrees to go out with him the following day. Young Jae is stunned but SAE recovers by lying that she was forced to give him her number and she doesn't want to meet him either. Young Jae believes her and grows more hateful of his former best friend. He promises to get rid of Hody at any cost, much to SAE's delight. In the darkness, he calls Hody in an alleyway, ready to hit him with a baseball bat. But, taking him by surprise, someone else knocks him out before he does anything. A week passes with no sign of Young Jae. SAE is nervous that her plan might have failed after so much work. She still has to go out with Hody and is terribly nervous given their history. Momo discoveries out about this on her and Hote's two-month dating anniversary. To apologize for forgetting, Hody gives her a golden lighter as a gift. Still, Momo is not someone who lets things slide that effortlessly. She gathers up a few men and goes to teach SAE a lesson for hitting on her boyfriend. The interaction is cut short when SAE tases Momo and strangely sufficiently, the guys do nothing. She leaves the bully with a final warning, asking her to never bother her again. Similarly, Mina, who is the kind one in the group, apologizes to SAE on her own. SAE lets her go because she was never actually mean to her anyway. Now, the only person left to deal with is Hody. In the following scene, we see a fight between Hody, Inner, and SAE. They stab each other, causing everyone's death. Unexpectedly, the scene changes to a psychiatric hospital. Inner is a doctor treating SAE for her multiple personality disorder. In a wild turn of events, it is disclosed that Hody and the bullies never existed, they were personalities derived from SAE herself. Last year, SAE's disease grew intense and she turned into a violent persona brought out as Hody. Unable to suppress the persona, she killed her sister Min Sun. Finally, she realized what she did and was struck by guilt. To avoid taking responsibility, she made up the entire story about Min Sun getting bullied so she would be a hero in her story, not a murderer who killed her own sister. All this eternity, she thought Inner was her imaginary friend because he would interrupt her dream world but in reality, he was her doctor. In real life, he reveals that he has been able to get rid of all of SAE's personality except for Hody. If she doesn't get him out of her head, she will be locked away for life. A few days after SAE is informed of this, Hody's personality disappears totally. Inner thinks his treatment worked and SAE is given little jail time considering her sickness. In the final scene, SAE is out of jail talking to Inner about life. She shows him a lighter, similar to the one Hody gave Momo when they last met. Inner peeks at it in shock, realizing that the assassin in SAE is still present somewhere inside her. And the end. If you are a lover of similar content like this take a look at my various videos and if you love it, please burst the like button and, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the notification horn, take sight of you in the next video.